I'm in Las Vegas after all. If this, if this doesn't work out, if all of you object, well, just get used to it. I think, I really think you have to let this sink in. In another hour or so, you're going to feel good about it. Well, uh, welcome to NVIDIA. In fact, you're inside NVIDIA's digital twin. And we're going to take you to NVIDIA. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NVIDIA. You're inside our digital twin. Everything here is generated by AI. It has been an extraordinary journey, extraordinary year, and uh, it started in 1993. Ready, go! With NV1, we wanted to build computers that can do things that normal computers couldn't. And NV1 made it possible to have a game console in your PC. Our programming architecture was called UDA, missing the letter C until a little while later, but UDA, Unifi Unified Device Architecture. And the first developer for UDA and the first application that ever worked on UDA was Sega's Virtual Fighter. Six years later, we invented, in 1999, the programmable GPU. And it started 20 years, 20 plus years of incredible advance in this incredible processor called the GPU. It made modern computer graphics possible. And now, 30 years later, Sega's Virtual Fighter is completely cinematic. Go! This is the new Virtual Fighter project that's coming. I just can't wait. Absolutely incredible. Six years after that, six, year after, six years after 1999, we invented CUDA so that we could, and Jeff Hinton discovered CUDA, used it to process AlexNet, and the rest of it is history. AI has been advancing at an incredible pace since. Started with perception AI, we now can understand images and words and sounds. To generative AI, we can generate images and text and sounds. And now, agentic AI. AIs that can perceive, reason, plan, and act. And then the next phase, some of which we'll talk about tonight, physical AI, 2012. Now magically, 2018, Something happened that was pretty incredible. Google's Transformer was released as BERT, and the world of AI really took off. Transformers, as, as you know, completely changed the landscape for artificial intelligence. In fact, it completely changed the landscape for computing altogether. We recognized properly that AI was not just a new application with a new business opportunity, but AI, more importantly, machine learning enabled by transformers, was going to fundamentally change how computing works. And today, computing is revolutionized in every single layer, from hand coding, instructions that run on CPUs to create software tools that humans use, we now have machine learning that creates and optimizes neural networks that processes on GPUs and creates artificial intelligence. Every single layer of the technology stack has been completely changed. An incredible transformation in just 12 years. Well, we can now understand information of just about any modality. Surely you've seen text and images and sounds and things like that. But not only can we understand those, we can understand amino acids, we can understand physics. We understand them, we can translate them and generate them. The applications are just completely endless. 
In fact, almost any AI application that you, you see out there, what modality is the input that it learned from? What modality of information did it translate to? And what modality of information is it generating? If you ask these three fundamental questions, just about every single application could be inferred. And so when you see application after applications that are AI driven, AI native, at the core of it, this fundamental concept is there. Machine learning has changed how every application is going to be built, how computing will be done, and the possibilities beyond. Well, GPUs, GeForce, in a lot of ways, all of this with AI is the house that GeForce built. GeForce enabled AI to reach the masses. And now, AI is coming home to GeForce. There are so many things that you can't do without AI. Let me show you some of it now. Was real-time computer graphics. 